let's find the mass of one atom of aluminum. That's Al. So basically all we need to do is find the molar mass, or in this case, since it's just an atom, the atomic mass, that's right here on the periodic table, and divide that by Avogadro's number. That's going to give us the mass of one atom of aluminum. And this will be an average aluminum atom since this is the average atomic mass. Let's do that. So we take the atomic mass of aluminum, that's 26.98, and you can think of the units as grams per mole. So we have 26.8 grams in one mole of aluminum. We're going to multiply this by a conversion factor because we know that one mole of any substance, that's Avogadro's number of particles. So we can put Avogadro's number there. And when we do the math, we have moles on the bottom and the top, they'll cancel out and leave us with grams. So we know we did it right. Essentially, all we're doing is we're dividing the atomic mass by Avogadro's number, but this is just a good check. So we divide 26.98 by Avogadro's number and we get, and the units, that's gonna be grams. If you wanted to convert this to kilograms, you just divide this number by a thousand, make it a smaller number, 4.48 times 10 to the negative 26. It makes sense that this is a really small number. Atoms are really small, so they have a small mass. We should get a small number here. To find the mass of one atom of aluminum 26, this isotope here, you would just take 26 and put that here instead of this average atomic mass. And that would give you the mass of one atom of the isotope, aluminum 26. This is Dr. B with the mass of one atom of aluminum. Thanks for watching.